not satisfying. <laughs> ah. Hello, it's me. Welcome to the video. So good. Today, we are gonna be tackling the first edit of Cherub of Rosecrest. Is that right? Is that, <laughs> is that what we're doing? It is a little over halfway through the month of January. I have been working on this guy a little bit here and there, but I realized very early on that I would need to tackle this draft like way differently than I feel like I've ever done for any of my other first draft edits because typically in the past when I have finished a first draft and I'm ready to turn around and start at the beginning and start editing, I would really just go scene by scene. You know, I would refer to my rough draft outline and make necessary changes on the outline and then apply them to like the whole document because I've always been really, well, not really thorough, but moderately thorough in my outlining when I'm writing. Typically, my plots are pretty solid and the relationships in between the characters are pretty solid. However, for this story, the outline was pretty loose in terms, like compared to my other stuff. You know, there was a lot of room for relationships to be built between characters. And while the plot went along how I expected it to, there was some instances along the way where where I just didn't feel like a character acted how they really would. Specifically, one character in mine just didn't work out to be how I thought he would be. And really that was just an oversight on my part, you know, because I designed him and I created him and I had him act a certain way and do certain things to drive the plot. I just didn't take into account the more, I guess, realistic parts of him and his character and why he does the things he does. I don't know, it was just really weird. So I have to tackle this a little bit differently because by the end of the story I had a lot of thoughts and a lot of ideas for how his character should have been like right off the bat so before I'm even jumping into the edits I decided that I needed to go through my whole document and make little comments is what they call them in Microsoft Word you can highlight a you know a chunk of text or a word and then add like a comment to it which would refer to like edits that you wanted to make later on so for the first time I'm doing that let's pull it up don't want to get too close but so basically this is my like actual draft on the left and then here this column are all comments that i've made yeah so these are all comments of things that i know i want to change that are on and i'm doing this now because in order to make the edits to the next draft as like efficient and like I guess stable as possible. I wanna make sure that I have all my ideas down before I start editing scene by scene in case something doesn't actually work out by the end. I've gone through and there's just like a lot of stuff that I felt like I needed to change. And not just regarding like the specific character that I was talking about, but just regarding other like details and stuff. So the very last comment that I had was here. So yeah, we're over halfway through the story. And I mean, we're only, the story's only sitting at 14,000 words. But yeah, like the reason I bring this up to you guys is because this is the first time I've had to do something like this where my original outline strayed kind of so far of like my original intentions that I felt like I would need to look at the whole picture first before I started going in and editing. And I really think this concept can apply to people who don't plot you know for you pantsers out there who like to just dive in and write stories without an outline i feel like it could be very daunting to go back and reread stuff and be like that's not gonna work and just feel like you have to like gut the entire thing and maybe even start over i would suggest trying something like this first so reading through the document again highlighting things that you know you need to change and just write a comment about it so that way by the end you can see all the comments and you can have a better vision of what your story really is like gonna turn out like before you go in and start ripping things apart. Because honestly, even though this story is on such a small scale, I could see how if I had made this into a longer piece, how just like overwhelmed I would feel by the end, knowing like the first half, there was a whole character who needed to be changed. I feel like this method of going in and like pre-editing before you actually get to it could help shape a story more and save you like possibly some time and now i'm gonna get into finishing up hopefully i can go through the rest of the story and throw in some comments and then see how i'm feeling at the end and see if maybe it's time to actually start writing i will confess because I try to be honest on here i did not actually finish my character profiles 
my um, original rough outline or I think even my settings. I don't know, I feel like this story is so short and it's so intimate that there are certain things that I don't really need to like refer to my profiles to remember, like I could just do a document search or there's not as much information that I actually need to keep track of. I mean, there's some stuff in here that I know like I don't remember like right off the top of my head, like certain dates of when people died and certain characteristics. But because a character is pretty much like introduced and then, you know, besides like my main characters, we see them maybe two or three times afterwards. Certain information only really needs to be presented once for the reader to understand. Typically for me, I am really like religious about filling out these profiles and making sure I have every detail accounted for before I go back in and start editing. And this might slow me down a little bit when it comes to some things if I don't have these finished. So maybe I will go back and finish them out or maybe I'll just like chug along and see how I do without them. This is gonna be a little experiment. I feel like this whole story is like one big experiment because I'm just like going off the rails, not doing what I normally do so it could all end in disaster. But I feel like like that's okay. It's just another type of creative process. All right, it is, my head's getting cut off. Mm. Sometime later, it got really dark and stormy outside, so the light's gone, that's fine. Okay, I finished going through my comments that I wanted to add. Towards the end, there really was only like one or two that I felt like I needed because by the end of my story, I had found like the rhythm and stuff. So now is the fun part of starting the actual edit. I'm also now starting to keep in mind where I want my story like to break up because I mean, one long piece of text is boring and exhausting and I have some scene cuts in here. Basically all of my scenes I cut by, you know, just adding like some space between the two parts. But in the final product, in the actual book, how am I gonna break it up? Are we gonna break it up by like mini chapters? Am I gonna break it up into parts? I originally thought of this story as having several distinct parts in it. I was kind of doing like a reference to like the life cycle in general, because I mean the story, I mean the characters are dead, you know? When they wake up for the first time, it's like being birthed again and then by by the end, they come to the realization that they're able to move on or that they need to stay. So do I, do I wanna go that route and give like names to parts or how do I wanna do it? So that's what I'm keeping in mind while I'm going through this round of edits. And this round of edits is mainly going to be focused on fixing the big things that I commented on. It's not gonna be so much of like a line edit. Um, I'm gonna try and solidify characters and really pay closer attention to their actions and their motives and you know, how they speak, what they do, that kind of stuff. But I'm I'm not gonna be as focused on like the little details. We will save the specific nitty gritty stuff for the next draft. Depending on how efficient I am, I expect to only have to do like two rounds of edits through this story. So yeah, I'm just gonna get to down, blah, 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 blah. Just gonna get down to that right now, see how much of a mess I made for myself before. I think I'm also gonna stop this video here. Um, I know it probably wasn't super long, but I felt like going into this since I am trying something new editing wise, I figured I would tell you guys and let you know about it. Hopefully it might help someone else. <laughs> and yeah, hope you guys are all being safe. Uh, I wish you luck with whatever writing project you are working on. All of the links to my stuff will deep blah, 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 blah. All of this, <laughs> all of the links to my stuff will be down below and I will see you guys later.